Chat, give me a one in the chat right now. If finally after all those rants and you guys yelling at me, you're like, holy shit, maybe skills had a point. Last year before the World Cup, when I was bitching and screaming, and everybody's like, don't worry, man, we're top three. And I was still bitching and moaning and crying about how bad United was. But everybody was saying that, yo, we're top three, man. You're not seeing it right. You're not seeing it. And I kept bitching and bitching and crying and crying because I could see that if Chelsea and Liverpool were good or there was any other good teams in the league, that United never would have had the positioning they had. And I kept saying that and I kept showing people and people kept saying that I was delusional and I was dumb and I didn't know what I was talking about. And the truth is United only stayed where they stayed because after the top two, pre the Premier League sucked last year. Do y'all agree or disagree? The only reason Manchester United stayed where they stayed last year is because after the top two teams, the Premier League was washed, bro. It was mudded. Teams that weren't, that are usually good, didn't perform, which left room for United to be where they were. It was never that 10 did a good job. It's never that 10 was cooking. It's that other teams sucked. Spurs, Liverpool, Chelsea sucked. That's all I'm saying. And now we get to this season and y'all can actually see they've wasted a stupid amount of money on transfers. A stupid amount of money on players that just shouldn't be there. Mason Mount, WRL take. What was that signing for? Dead signing. Dead. Dead signing, bro. Dead signing, bro. You know? Oh, nah, nah. Dead signing. You cannot look at me in my face and tell me that oh, nah, nah is a better keeper than De Gea. You can't. You cannot look at me and say oh, nah, nah is a way better keeper than De Gea. De Gea has better receipts. De Gea has better receipts. You ready for what I'm about to say? Real Madrid got a better keeper on loan than Manchester United went out and bought. Kepa is better than Onana. And that's facts. And that's facts. And I, I'm, I'm dropping pure facts. You're American, bro. You're delusional. You're delusional. I'm American and you're delusional. I'm American. You're delusional. Listen to what I'm saying to you, bro. All I'm saying to you is this. You drop the Haya. So you could bring in a player that is better with his feet out the back. I'm not here to get United fans triggered and be against me. Look, chat, every time I post something on Twitter, there are people that are like, oh, look, here's the Manchester United hater. Here's the Manchester United hater. Here's this. Here's that. There's constantly people thinking that I'm saying what I say because I want to see United's downfall. And the opposite is here. If you back 10, you want to see United's downfall. If you support 10, you are a Manchester City fan and you believe Manchester's blue. And I ain't fucking with you. And I said it. I, I'm over it. Y'all keep saying, I want to see United's downfall. People that support 10, you want to see United's downfall. I don't give a shit what anybody says, bro. Y'all can keep coming at my neck and act like I don't want what's best for United. He dropped De Gea. He dropped Ronaldo. He dropped Sancho. He brought in Onana. He brought in Mason Mount. And all they do is get dogged. Zero goals for six against in Old Trafford in the past two games. Don't worry, lads. Oh, Nana's a sick keeper with his feet.
You're a goalkeeper, man. Make yourself big. Make yourself big, Onana. Make yourself big. You know what this tweet says? Onana took Halloween too serious and was trying to scare the ball away. I'll let the chat speak, man. United is shit for eight years. Don't blame the coach. You know who I'm not going to blame? The Glazers. You know why I'm not going to blame the Glazers? Because they own the club. Do you know what that means? That means there's nothing we can do about it. You understand? It's like if I walk into somebody's McDonald's and I say, can you please wash your floors? And they go, I'm the owner, man. Get out of my restaurant. I can't do nothing about it, chat. They own it. You can't do nothing against somebody who owns it. What are you supposed to do? If they don't want to sell, they not going to sell. They own it, dude. So let's move on from trying to get them out and figure out what's the next step to getting this team right. Because the one thing you can say about them, as shit of owners they are, because I agree they're bad owners. They've brought in players. Casemiro, Varane, Mason Mount, Onana, Malasia, Holland, Sancho, Anthony. They brought players in. But the, but, but the performances are not happening. The performances are not happening. What more do you want? They're spending money. They gave Mason Mount this summer. That's what 10 wanted. You wanted Amrabat. You wanted a defensive mid. You wanted a box to box. They gave you Casemiro and Amrabat. What more do you want? People told me when Manchester United gets a midfield, they're going to cook. Bruno Fernandez, Amrabat, Casemiro. What's left? Hundred percent. And for anyone who says to me right now, bro, let's talk about injuries. Let's do it. Let's talk about injuries. Because I saw La Barcelona completely annihilated with injuries, almost beat Real Madrid. And if it wasn't for Jude Bellingham hitting from 50 yards out against one of the best goalkeepers in world football, Barcelona beat Real Madrid with a bunch of injuries. There was no excuses from Barcelona. They went out there and they performed against almost a full strength Real Madrid, except for Eda Militao and Courtois, and they nearly beat them. Teams deal with injuries. Y'all weren't saying the same energy for Chelsea last year when they're nearly getting relegated and y'all are in third place. United fans aren't going, oh, Chelsea's at the bottom of the table because they have 15 injuries and Conte hasn't played all season. No, y'all made fun of them. So stop bringing up injuries now that injuries are happening because every team deals with injuries, bro.
It's 10, bro. It's 10. The conversation's over. 10 don't know how to buy players. He don't know how to buy players, bro. That's it. Let's start talking about who he's brought in. Do you guys accept who 10 has brought in? Are you happy with the players he signed? United fans, if he leaves your club right now, has he left you in a better place or a worse place? Answer the question properly. Has he left you in a better place or a worse place? You got a 70 or 80 million pound signing Sancho that nobody, MIA, nobody knows where he is. Nobody knows where this guy is, okay? You got Anthony, a.k.a. Fidget Spinner, doing spins. Hasn't done nothing for you since you bought him. The only player that deserves a little bit of respect this year, and I'm not even saying this jokingly, is Mick Sauce. Because at least when he came in, he tries. At least when Mick Sauce came in, he tries, bro. Harry Maguire, another one. Another one. I just don't know anymore how United fans can back this guy 10. If you want what's best for that badge on your shirt, you need to realize the moment he said he can't make your team play Ajax football, what was the point of him? Give me a one if you agree. You weren't signed to come in to let the players determine the football you're going to play, 10. You were brought in to bring players into this club that you play your football. So when you signed Casemiro and you signed Holland and you signed Anthony and you signed Malasia and you signed Martinez, it's because Manchester United fans thought that you were bringing Ajax football to Old Trafford. Instead, you went in front of the media and said that, well, the players determine the football that I can play. And here at Manchester United, I will never be able to play the football that I played at Old Trafford because we don't have the same type of football players here. Crazy. I've never heard a manager say that. <sighs> Chat. If I said anything wrong, give me an L right now. I don't even really care about that, you know? I don't, you know what makes me sad? It's not that Ronaldo left European football. It's that Manchester United fans didn't get the right send-off with their club legend. Give me a one if you feel me, chat. That's the only thing that makes me sad. F fuck everything else. It's that Manchester United fans deserve to get the right sending off with their club legend. The same with Wayne Rooney, the same with all those guys. It deserved to end the proper way. And this fraud who's not fixing the club at least didn't give the fans that. Give me a W if you agree with what I'm saying here, chat. Like, if you're fixing the club and the club's playing good football and Ronaldo was a distraction, that's fine. Get him out of here because you're fixing the club. You need to do this. I get that. But you're making this team play worse football and you took the fans happiness and joy of them letting their club legend leave the right way you took that away from the fans as well you're taking everything from them you're taking every piece of happiness from them like every piece of happiness you can't even give a half a competition to man city i don't know man i don't know i don't know i don't want to talk about it too much anymore chat you know give me a one if you agree let's just move on because 
United fans think that I'm saying negative things for like their club and I'm attacking their club and this and that. But bro, if you're accepting what's happening at United right now, you don't care, bro. You don't want it to get better. You don't want it to get better, man. You don't want it to get better. You really don't want it to get better, bro. A9 skills. I would like to apologize to you. You are right about 10. I tried to back him. I tried to see, I tried, I tried to see the positive and I disagreed with you on countless occasions, but you were absolutely right about everything. I finally seen the light fair play. Major signings under 10. Anthony, 85 million. Holon, 72 million. Casemiro, 70 million. Mason Mount, 60 million. Martinez, 56 million. Onana, 47 million. Malasia, 14 million. 4 million from who? Eric, Eric Free. Evans Free. Loan. 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 Chat, how many of these signings are good? Go. The only signing I agree with on this entire list is two. Martinez and Holland. Martinez and Holland. I agree with two signings. Martinez and Holland. I don't agree with the Casemiro signing. I don't agree with the Casemiro signing. 70 million for somebody over 30 when you're trying to rebuild your club is not the right answer. It should have been a defensive mid that was younger, that will be ready to win with United when United is ready to win. Casemiro's too old. By the time United is fixed, Casemiro's going to be gone. In my opinion, it should have been a younger defensive mid sign for that type of money. And in four years from now, when United is ready to start winning again, he would have been prepared for that role. Because it's a rebuild just like Arsenal did. So in my opinion, Holland and Martinez are the only ones on that list I agree with. W or L take, chat. Bringing in, a, bringing in for 70 million a guy over 30 just doesn't make sense to me. It just doesn't make sense to me. Honestly, it just doesn't make sense to me. It really doesn't. It really, really doesn't. Unless you were going to win right now. Ain't no way, right? Ain't no way that's real. Ain't no way that's real. Ain't no way, right? A9, A9 couldn't have been more right, man. <laughs> Yo, I'm fucking winning, bro. I'm on top of the world right now. I'm fucking winning, bro. The football world is respecting my ball knowledge, yo. The football world is, yo, they're respecting my ball knowledge, bro. Chat, give me a one, bro, if you see it, bro. Yo, come on. Yo, man. Yo, man. To be fair, an American who thinks he's Portuguese and plays FIFA for a living isn't the most reliable source and yet he was spot on who the fuck is this guy bro who the and thinks he's Portuguese <laughs> hey yo ho you calling me speed I feel like that's a good tweet. Thoughts? I feel like that's a good tweet, bro. He's calling me speed, bro. I, I ain't faking I'm Portuguese, bro. I am Portuguese, bro. What do you mean he thinks he's Portuguese? What does that shit mean, bro? He thinks he's Portuguese. I, I ain't Portuguese, man. I mean, I wait, wait. I'm Portuguese, man. <laughs> Hold on, man. Nah, I'm not, I'm not bringing speed into this. I love speed, man. 